Example 3.12. A ball is dropped from a height 90 meter on the floor. At each collision with the floor, the ball loses one tenth of its speed. Plot the speed time graph of its motion between 0 to 12 seconds. Now see, position of the ball that is 90 meter, it is dropped means initial velocity that is 0 at time t equal to 0 second. Now use the equation v square minus v0 square equal to 2ab. Now here using this equation one can calculate velocity of the ball when it hit the ground. So initial velocity is 0. When it hit the ground, suppose its velocity that is v1 to acceleration that is minus 9.8 distance covered that is also downward. So minus 90. When you solve this one, your velocity comes to 42 meter per second. Now time taken by it to hit the ground. So use the equation V equal to V0 plus 80. When it hit the ground, final velocity is 42. Initial velocity that is 0. Then A that is G 9.8 time taken that is T1. So T1 that will come to 42 upon 9.8 that is 4.3 second. Here velocity that is downward, acceleration that is downward. So both will be negative. So here negative sign is neglected. Clear to all of you a step. Yes, sir. Now see one tenth velocity is lost during collision. So we can say velocity lost that is one tenth of 42. So that is 4.2 meter per second. Now 4.2 meter per second velocity is lost. It implies that now we can say it will rebound with velocity 42 minus 4.2 that is equal to 37.8 meter per second. Now our ball is rebounding with 37.8 meter per second. So we can consider initial velocity 37.8 meter per second when it reaches at the maximum height the final velocity will be zero. So use the equation V square minus V zero square equal to two AD. Now substitute the values V zero, V zero 37.8, two A that is minus 9.8 into D. And when you solve this one, D comes to 73 meter. Mean ball will rise up to 73 meter. Now, time taken by ball to rise up to 73 meter. So, V equal to V0 plus 80. Final velocity 0. Initial that is 37.8. A minus 9.8 into time T. So, time T that is 37.8 upon 9.8. It will come to 3.9 seconds. Clear. Now, again, ball will fall from the maximum height. So when it hit the ground, again, what will be the velocity? So V square minus V zero square, that is two AD. Final velocity, when it hit the ground that we want to calculate, Initial 0, 2, A minus 9.8, D minus 73. Your answer will be the same one. V 37.8. And time taken. So whatever is the time taken to rise up to maximum height, the same will be to hit the ground. So again, your time will come to 3.9 second. 
Now ball hit the ground second time with speed thirty seven point eight meter per second. Now, now again during the collision one tenth velocity is lost. So ball hit the ground. Second time with velocity thirty seven point eight one tenth of it means three point seventy eight meter per second velocity is lost. So now it will rebound with velocity thirty seven point eight minus three point seventy eight that is equal to thirty four meter per second. But now no need to carry out further calculations why see here at time t equal to 0 the velocity 0 dropped after 4.3 second it hit the ground with velocity 42 then it rebounds and then after 3.9 second it reaches at the maximum height so again when it reaches at the maximum height the velocity is zero and 4.3 plus 3.9 so after 8.2 second its velocity that comes to zero now again it start motion from the highest point and fall on the ground with velocity 37.8 but again time taken that is 3.9 second so add 3.9 into 8.2 means after 12.1 second its velocity will be 37.8 you have to carry out calculation up to 12 second so now restrict your data to this one. and now the graph velocity versus time starting from the upper most position okay initial velocity zero then downward motion hit the ground with 42 meter per second then velocity lost 1/10 velocity lost and now with 37.8 meter per second it rebounds means upward motion it reaches at the highest point after 8.2 second and velocity becomes zero again it fall means downward motion and at 12.1 it hit the ground with speed 37.8 clear to all of you